but uh, this is going to be a not a tutorial, but this is uh, basically a software review of this new software that I found on the App Store called Hype. Let's bring up the App Store here, and let's go to category. Let's go and just type in Hype here. So if you're on, uh, you know, a current version of the Mac that supports the App Store, you can just buy it right from here. Okay, let's take a look at it. And um, I'm actually using this for a project at my 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 work. And I've found out that this is uh, quite a good uh, HTML5 editing program. And uh, I'm, this is my review, just kind of a quick overview of the software. So basically, unlike something like uh, Dreamweaver, which is very heavily focused on uh, editing web pages, uh, you know, in, in sort of like a, uh, a kind of a, a code window type style, you know, basically you're, you're writing web pages the way you would write code and you have, a, you know, kind of a preview window and whatnot. Uh, Hype is all about uh, creating uh, dynamic uh, animations uh, using HTML5, and it supports video and whatnot, so uh, you can make really impressive uh, web pages with kind of a minimal amount of effort. So you have your main uh, stage here, and let's just go ahead and uh, drag the uh, timeline back to the, the start. So as you can see here from the interface, you have sort of like a, a standard uh, timeline that looks very much like um, director or something like that. I won't even say Flash because Flash's timeline is not quite as intuitive as this. Actually, it's much more like, I would say, it's the closest thing is uh, like Adobe After Effects. And so you can just bring media in, either from uh, clicking on Insert Element. Uh, this is the types of media you can have. You can have uh, different things here. At, at this point, it really doesn't support much except for um, text, images, and videos. So if you, it doesn't support just MP3 audio files. You would have to, for example, um, you would have to, uh, for example, create a, a video file with the audio in it. So I'll just drag in a uh, an image here, which is just a logo for a film I was working on a while back, which I'll be working on again. Okay. So uh, as you can see, you just drag it onto the timeline, and then a new layer has been created, just like in After Effects. And you can see here, here are the different. Uh, uh, options for this object that you can control. So um, you can just go ahead and, and put this wherever you want and then uh, in order to animate it you can either select different options here and then hit the keyframe button. You'll see a keyframe has been created. Do the same for opacity. Uh, or alternately you can just hit the record button and then that will record any uh, changes that you make to the object. So now we'll start moving this and you can see here that keyframes are being created as we do this. All right. So I'll just start animating this moving around. Now, um, the thing is, is that it's not, it's still not, you know, I, I think this is kind of like a first version of the software and it's quite good. It's, it's quite user friendly. And as far as HTML5 goes, there's not really a lot out there, but um, you can see that there's a few issues. For example, you can move and scale things, uh, but at this point, I don't think you can actually rotate. Uh, you can't, for example, spin this thing around. I'm right-clicking on it and middle-clicking. It's not really doing anything. So there are some limitations. And like I said, it doesn't handle audio files, just images and video files. Also be aware that uh, you know the different um, web browsers handle videos differently. For example, Firefox will not support uh, the MPEG-4 movies that uh, Safari and Windows support, and also like likewise, um, the dynamic animations that get created in Hype uh, may not be supported in some of the older browsers. All right, so um, let's just go ahead and so basically, as I've shown you here, that was how basically how to do some animation, and Hype also uses this idea of scenes. So as you can see up here, there's um, you know each different web page. Or, well, actually, these are not technically web pages. These are parts of a, a, a canvas, uh, you know, HTML5 canvas. Uh, each one of these has its own separate timeline, and then you can have these really nice effects to go between them. So let me just bring up my actual web page here. Okay. So you can see some of the uh, hype animations uh, at work here. So, for example, if we click on this, you'll see there's a crossfade. You'll see there's a push kind of uh, thing. My screen capture software keeps getting in the way. Okay. So as you can see here, there's a lot of different, um, you know, and these effects basically were extremely simple to create. You just go ahead 
and you click on any of the objects you imported and then under this cog here you have different options so if we click on that button there or image or whatever and then these are the options you have jump to a scene play a timeline you can have multiple basically uh, animation sequences in one timeline uh, run JavaScript so you can control things via JavaScript so you can get more interactivity out of it than you normally would. Uh, go to URL, obviously, you know, just go to another web page. Um, so that's the basics of, of doing that. So, you know, it, is it, uh, it's not maybe as full featured as, you know, if you were to write HTML5 animation code yourself, obviously, but, uh, you know, for getting something that looks impressive in quite a short amount of time, uh, this is quite a good program. And the price, I think, is very reasonable. Well, I haven't installed, but it, I think it's $49.95 in the App Store. Okay, so um, that is a first look at Hype. Uh, uh, I might be posting some more about this. There's actually quite a lot to get into, but um, as you can see, here's here's the different uh, you know means of, of doing things. Also, uh, these are the different uh, browsers that you can uh, set about compatibility warnings for. Uh, also, the thing is, I want you to know is that uh, when you've done this, you actually have to export exports HTML5. Uh, for example, I just export to a folder and then FTP it to my web server. That's how I've been updating my changes and stuff. So if you're looking to do some uh, some web animation or you know touch up your web page with something that looks nice, uh, this you know without having to spend a ton of time coding or anything like that, then uh, Hype is definitely <clears throat> worth a look. It, it's it's still got a little ways to go. There's a few features I wish it I wish it had, but um, I'm very impressed with it so far for such a young, young version of software. Uh, documentation also could be a bit more robust, uh, especially, you know, there's very little, you know, JavaScript API uh, documentation, just a couple of little functions. But uh, otherwise, I'm building a very complex uh, program now for work uh, using Hype and uh, before you know, before we were going to do it in Flash, but then we realized we were going to have to target mobile devices as well, and we can't use Flash for that uh, because not everything supports that. And uh, I was able to recreate the entire Flash project uh, pretty much in Hype. Uh, it's a little bit wonky, but, uh, you know, it's doable. So, uh, that is my review of Hype. Um, unfortunately, Lizzie, my review of Reptile, you know, who kind of shows you how many claws she, she gives this, she's sleeping right now. I don't know if you can hear my cat jumping on me from behind, but uh, I think uh, if Lizzie was awake, she would end up giving hype two claws up. So uh, I hope you uh, check it out and enjoy the software.